Hey guys, good morning. Uh, you know, nice and early today. Had cardio at 5.30 um, when the gym opened. Um, you know, energy was pretty good. So I thought, just get out of bed, go do it, get the day done. So, continuation of yesterday's episode one. We are now moving on to the health series episode two. Um, as I previously mentioned, today's topic will be uh, vitamin K, but in particular, vitamin K2. Um, why vitamin K2? Uh, Maniquinone, otherwise known as MK7, is the most bioavailable uh, and it has the longest half-life. So this can actually be present in the body for up to 72 hours, um, which is a substantial amount of time. That's, you know, that's, that's a very active, potent uh, vitamin, put it that way. So. Uh, these particular ones, first and foremost, we'll go through what ones I've got. I have the NUU Nutrition. Uh, these are made in the UK. Uh, this is supposedly a one-year supply. Uh, these are GMO-free, double strength, uh, suitable for vegetarians and vegans. Okay, so strength-wise on these particular ones are, is 200 uh, UG. They are 365 tablets, so it's a fair few. Uh, I don't know the conversion between UG and MCG, but you can see how small the tablets are. So again, like yesterday, anyone that has problems with tablets, these are so small you could probably just put them in water and they will dissolve because there is no capsule versus uh, yesterday's capsule, which you would open and put the, the powder in. So um, the suggested use, first and foremost, is just one tablet a day. Um, again, from my understanding, 120 micrograms is the suggested amount. Uh, I don't know the difference between uh, the UG and uh, micrograms. There might be no different. I might be stupid. Uh, but like I said, I'm not a doctor and I'm pretty new to this. So let's go into why we would use this. I have my notes with me as always. Um, we're going to try and keep this video around five minutes long because they're only short episodes. So first and foremost on my notes here, uh, we want to sort of relate this to bodybuilding, obviously, because we're bodybuilders. So uh, vitamin K, it fights heart disease and improves bone health, um, can, which in turn would improve recovery because our bones are obviously under a lot of um, fire from our heavy weight training. So the more that they can obviously recover, the better. Um, it facilitates the transport of calcium from the blood to the bones and that's how it does the above. So it's, it's what facilitates the transportation, so therefore it allows the process to happen and it helps the process to happen. So obviously you want to get calcium from the blood pulling around into the bones to help repair, uh, densify, strengthen and all that jazz. So this particular K2 is 10 times more bioavailable than K1, which just shows how um, absorbable it actually is. So therefore, like I said yesterday, it's all about things that are absorbable and uh, that you can actually take in and utilize. No point in taking supplements if they're not actually bioavailable and the body cannot process them. Um, it prevents calcium from uh, forming deposits, which can obviously uh, block arteries and cause heart problems. And that's why this is so good for your heart because it can prevent the calcification of calcium deposits. Uh, we strain our hearts quite a lot because of the use of certain um, particular like double uh, AS's um, so therefore we have to keep an eye on our heart health it's so important for us to do that uh, the cholesterol is affected obviously by the use of such um, compounds so because of this actually um, preventing those uh, deposits occurring it has a positive effect on cholesterol which in turn is going to cause much more uh, long-term health for the heart, the arteries, uh, the circulation, and the um, the entire system in the body for blood flow. So foods that are contained in this, okay, this is so easy because the thing is you get 500% from half a cup of kale. So if you just have a serving of kale a day, a nice size serving, you've covered your K2, which would mean you pretty much don't have to utilize supplementation. But if you're someone that doesn't like veg, then you're gonna use the K2 uh, as a supplement. Spring onions do have a high amount of K2 as well, so does broccoli. And finally, on other notes, um, other health benefits from such supplementation are, it does help fight cancer, 
Uh, the cancers in particular are the oral cancers, so prostate, colon, stomach, nasal, um, you know, so it is worth having not just for the bodybuilding side, but for the general well health, um, general health side as well. Okay, so again, let's just finalize on that. You'll be fine with one capsule a day, I imagine, one tablet a day. That's all I take. Um, I take it with like meal two. Doesn't matter whether it's with food or without. And uh, yeah, so that's episode two on vitamin K. We'll move on to episode three tomorrow. Like I say, these are just short videos. Anything you'd like to add, please put below. And uh, let's look after our hearts. Let's look after our livers, our brains, our stomachs. And uh, let's just look after our well-being. Peace out.